Welcome back to Ozarks Live. James Martin and Courtney Pinkham are here from Gillardi's. Great to see both of it's you. It's great to be back. I love the new studio. This is Isn't really nice. Is this your nice. first time in? This is. This is nice. You, oh, my goodness. This is a setup in here. Wow. They sprung it on me while I was gone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We, we enjoy yeah. it. We really do. It is nice. Before we see what you're doing yes. for us today, you've got something going on at Gillardi's this week. Yes, Courtney's yes. organized yes. something fun for us next week. Um, this week on Wednesday, we actually have a wine pairing with a Bomberito. It's a Piedmont wine pairing, so we're cooking all kind of Piedmont cuisine. Mm -hmm. A little bit different spin off there. Okay, so I don't know what that is, so I'm just going to ask you. region of Italy. Okay. So oh, you so can go to it. Italy without actually paying for the plane ticket, yes. which is kind of yes. nice. What so a great thing! You know, and we've been told our food is on par. So we're doing a, we're highlighting the spicy watermelon gazpacho. Mm -hmm. That's our starter course. Mm -hmm. Followed up with beautiful caprese salad, three different varieties of tomatoes. We're going to have duck breast with gnocchi. We're doing a homemade veal ravioli with a venison bolognese sauce that I've been working on for about a week and a half, two weeks. It is delicious. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to finish up with a panna cotta uh, made with apricot. You so, spoil us. Yeah, you I know. Mean, the sauce that can make or break a whole dish. <laughs> and it is really, really fantastic. Well, you I'm had excited. me at Noki, you really good. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's, that's oh. one of the good You know how good ours are, too. Yes, Absolutely. I do. Yes, yes, I do. And then we have another thing planned up next month yes, as well. Um, I believe it is July 17th. We are doing a beer pairing with Mothers. As everyone oh, knows, nice. Mothers loves to take over bars, to have their tap room takeover. Mm -hmm. We are taking over Mothers. Okay. So we're doing a backyard oh, pairing with Mothers. Um, so for either of those, just call the restaurant, 417-862-6. 400 for reservations because okay. it will be limited, but we're pretty excited I love it. about those. And our yeah. menu for the wine dinner on Wednesday yes, is on our Facebook menu. page as well. Oh, okay, so okay. you can okay. see the so menu yes, online. They can get all that information on your yes. Facebook yes. page. I love it. Yeah. Yes. Courtney and James take take over mothers. I love yes. it. Okay. It's going to be fun. <laughs> all right. So uh, it is almost watermelon season here, yes. so we're starting to get these watermelons from Arkansas, from the Boot Hill. Mm -hmm. uh, cantaloupes are about to come into season. So we wanted to feature a spicy watermelon gazpacho, and I think we're just going to have a lot of fun. We've got a lot of great stuff coming in out of the farm right now. Um, of course, we're still utilizing our winter onions. We have cucumbers growing. Uh, red bell peppers are very close to being available at our farm. Right. And we have also got some nice watermelon plants. But I wanted to give people a cold soup to enjoy when these weather when this weather starts getting yeah, hot. Really hot. Mm -hmm. Let's let's have, enjoy a nice cold soup. So the base for the soup obviously is going to be watermelon. But we also have our tomatoes and we have base flavors. Flavors. I'm always looking for something that's going to be a base layer. So whether it's onion or garlic or white pepper, that's what which all the other flavors sit on. So your lime zest, your sugars, your things like that, your honey, that'll sit on top of that, and that gives you a balanced dish. Okay. We've all gone to a restaurant where it's like, well, there's something here, but it needs something else. Yes. Right, exactly. So we really focus base. on that. Okay. Yes, exactly. yes. So how we do this is very simple. Um, we start with about two cups of tomatoes here. So these are just grape tomatoes for our purposes. We've got a half a cup of red bell pepper. So we've got, and that again is a dark flavor. We want to have that available for kind us. Kind of sweet, right? Kind of sweet, yeah. kind of rich. Yes. Um, we also have our cucumber, which I just love this time of year. Me too. It freshens up anything. It, it yes. does, it really yes. does. Really, do spring, it gives me that springtime feel. Yeah. <laughs> now here we have lime zest from one lime and oh. juice of one lime. Okay. okay, that's gonna give it a little fun flavor. We also fire roasted off jalapenos. And if anyone Ooh. does that at home, if anyone has a gas grill, it's a a lot of fun to add to recipes, so fire roasted red bell pepper marinara. Something fun, different for the family to enjoy. We're always oh, trying to do that with so our good. with our family. Good over here. Oh, and it just yeah. started. Wow. So fresh. So yes. start just started. Now I, of course, obviously garlic, garlic. is a main. Mm -hmm. Now you don't want too much here. You really don't want it really kind of overwhelming. Yeah, but garlic makes everything better. Right? I think yeah. it, it really does. does. I think it does. For this, it's just a light amount. It's one tablespoon okay. here. Okay. And, and then we're gonna add our red onion, and this is about one cup of red onion as well. And then our favorite, our watermelon. Okay. Okay. So we're going to toss that right in there. This is the easiest thing to do at home. Oh, you ready? <laughs> yeah. Look out, look out. I, I, I'm just having it for you. <laughs> um, one last feature here. I do enjoy different types of salt. And we smoked off some sea salt here, as well as kosher salt. And we're going to add that oh. to that. Okay. okay, James, you do your thing. All right, here we go. Let's see how this works. You want to try it? Uh, <laughs> he knows what he's doing. I'll, I'll let him do that. You don't understand. And it's beautiful. 
watch out. Well. <laughs> Look this, at that. This is where it gets to be fun. fun. So you'll just take this and you puree it all together. You can, uh, pardon me, you can use a food processor at home. Uh -huh. You can use a blender at home. This yeah. is the what we do in the kitchen. We don't yeah. care too much about the mess. Yeah. Okay. I can imagine you could use a masher if you want. You could use a masher to kind yeah. of get it okay. at that texture. Yeah. Now, what we've got here, too. this yes, is a does. finished product. Yeah, yeah. yeah let's, this? yeah, okay. we're done with that. Yeah. This is our finished product, so we're going to take some lime here, fresh watermelon, and that, <coughs> pardon me, is just a hit at the house party. Do you mind? No, oh, please. Okay. Courtney. Okay. Courtney. Courtney. You got to try one, Tom. Oh, okay. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Let's see how we think. All right. Oh my goodness. Now you do it's have to so steep it. Oh, wonderful. Mm -hmm. mm. That Nothing. flavor, that is steeped now for 24 hours. Oh, I like mm -hmm. that. Catch that jalapeno right at the end. Isn't that nice? Mm. It's beautiful. Isn't that nice? Thank good. you so thank much. Thank you very much. Thanks, Courtney, thank you so much thank for coming in. We we, that is good stuff. We it is. You. Thank, thank you very much. <laughs>